right guys bowtie bram here once again and today i'm finally doing a review a much requested review of my back rack setup let's go take a look at it so i get a lot of compliments and questions about my back rack all the time um it's a pretty simple design but it is very effective okay so we'll start off with the back rack itself um you guys might notice this this originally was a um back rack brand back rack um they sell them for all all makes and models of trucks and everything like that this was actually back rack was actually made for an uh 2006 um silverado 2500 but i just um had my buddy john um he uh welded the it's um an l bolt there's a bolt here bolt here and i needed longer bolts so he just welded two bolts together and now it's on here so that's the foundation of it we'll start off the most noticeable thing from the back is the light bar so this is a 54 inch um triple row led light bar now it looks very you can't tell it's connected it looks super sleek and let me show you how i did that um made this um brace bracket with my papa um he's a wizard um so what it is actually this is an old bed frame okay now if you see right here there it's uh screwed into there now we had to drill a hole out and um install these things called the riv nut and it basically is something that goes into metal it's like a rivet if you know what a rivet is it expands in the metal so it doesn't come out and it does that but it leaves you something to thread um a screw into so we put a riv nut in there see the nut screws right in and I just um, took some bed liner and painted this. This was originally blue. So we had the bar that goes across. I set it on top of this bar. So it's a nice straight line and everything like that. And just all I did was these two brackets, just put them on and light bar is on there. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't move or jingle or anything. Um, one thing I do have to add though is with a light bar of this um, size on the back of your truck, it is noisy. So um, normally the light bars have all these fins on the top. I had to get some uh, Gorilla duct tape, nice black so you can't really even see it, and had to tape it so there's no fin showing because those fins made a whole heck of a lot of noise, like very just ear piercing, like you could hear my truck, not the exhaust, just the screaming of the light bar from like a half a mile away. So had to get that taken care of. The next thing I wanna talk about are these light cubes, light pods. And these are like uh, six to nine inch cube, cube pod, whatever the heck you wanna call them. Now these are actually unreleased. Um, they're from a company that sponsors me, Sculptor. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you're familiar with me, you've heard of them. Um, they do all my lighting on my truck. Um, and these are unreleased. So um, I don't know if my man Raphael will be watching the video and leave a comment down if they're gonna be released to the public soon or what, but these are actually really cool. And these, oh, let me go around. Those sit on the top of the little bars right here. So they're, I call these, these are called the deer spotters, okay? Cause you can see eye shine from deer from a mile away. This one I call the FU bar because when someone's behind you with their brights on and you turn this on, they can't see anything. So as I was saying, the cool thing about these light bars is you guys can see this line around it. This actually, when the light bar is turned on, it's like a uh, daytime running light, I guess I'll call it. Um, so when the light bar is shooting out light and you look at it from the side, you can see this light up bar and it looks really cool at night. Um, these are all like some fisheye type of, I don't know what the technology is behind it, but they, they spread the light out like crazy just for these two little bars. And like I said, any eye shine at night with deer or any animals at all, with them being mounted up like this, instantly you could see it so far away. So that was really helpful when I had the tinted windshield and such. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty clean design. You know, no cords really running everywhere. I got them all tied in behind, so you can't really see. Um, I think the only thing left to do is give you guys, I can't really show you um, what it looks like during the day because it's obviously bright out. So uh, I'll be back when it's darker out and I'll give you guys just a little uh, shot of what the backlight bar looks like and what the top ones look like. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Peace out.
Alrighty guys, so here's my nighttime test. Um, I'm gonna do this into a field so you can get a good uh, representation of the light. Uh, first, we have the uh, the deer spotters, what I call the deer spotters. So, like you could see, I don't know if you could see or not, but you see the ring around the light? That's what I was talking about. And then you have the light. I don't know if you could see the ring around the light or not, because I couldn't really reach up there. But those are what they look like on top of the truck, nice and super bright. This is the light they throw off. So like I said, since they're up so high, they're not gonna sh shine light on the whole field. So let me turn on my headlights real quick. And that's with headlights. But those are the deer spotters. They cast out very far, but just up top. So you can see those that eye shine. Okay, turn those off. Now, well, we have the big light bar in the back. Um, I could be in a better spot for this, but that's what it does. So imagine, I'm gonna turn that off. Imagine you're you're driving behind me with your uh, high beams on. Oof. I mean, yeah, you're you're blinded. You're blinded. It's ridiculous. I can't even look at it. But yeah, that's a good old back rack setup. We'll get you a shot with both the big old deer busters. Shining into the field. We got the big 54 triple row on the back. It's the Bowtie Bremmobile, guys. Alrighty, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I uh, will see you next week. Peace out.